Many wells are drilled in areas where weak zones cannot support a cement column of normal density. People use lightweight additives such as bentonite or Potsalon spheres and hollow glass microspheres to reduce the slurry density. Another efficient method while maintaining good strength properties in the cured cement is to mix slurries with foaming agents and nitrogen. Designing a foamed cementing job requires cumbersome calculations. Some of the technical concerns are listed here. Foamed cementing techniques rely on the prediction of the density of foamed slurries. Here are three job design methods. In this method, the nitrogen rate is held constant throughout the job. Thus, the slurry density will increase as depth increases. The merit of this method is the simplicity of field operation. Only one nitrogen ratio is required. The constant density technique requires increasing the nitrogen flow rate as the slurry is pumped into the well. This example requires 21 stages of nitrogen loading ratios. This hybrid method reduces the number of nitrogen loading ratios to obtain a reasonably homogeneous density and foam quality profiles. Now let's use PVI's SEMPRO to simulate the displacement procedure. The slurry density changes continuously as the foam slurry flows from inside the casing into the annulus. The varying color red reflects the different nitrogen concentrations. The final foam quality profile shows an average of 11% as designed. The flow rate of a foam slurry is not constant along the flow path due to the compressibility of the fluid. This screen displays the volumetric injection flow rate and return rate in the annulus during the job. The use of computer software has proven to be an effective way to improve the quality and success rate of primary cementing, especially when designing and executing foam cement jobs. For more information, please visit our website.